this is a Blender tutorial for my 3D tracksuit uh, model for Procreate, Blender, Marvelous Designer and Clo. So the first thing you have to do is download the file from Etsy and then once it's downloaded we're going to head over to blender.org and download Blender if you haven't done that. It's a free, Blender is a free 3D software that's available to everyone. Once it's downloaded, we're going to head over to the file. So now we're in Blender, we're going to locate the file from Clothing Markups and drag and drop the Blend file into Blender. So once it's loaded up, the first thing we'll do is look at the timeline at the bottom here. This rotates the object so we can change the angle for photos or we can also preview the animation by pressing the play button at the bottom. That will be a looping animation so it can be used over and over like a GIF if you want to as well. To change the textures we're going to head over to UV, texture, UV editing at the top here uh, and we're going to make sure that we have the model selected. Press tab Make sure that everything is deselected. This is just to preview what the image textures look like. So if we want to change this, we're going to have to head over to Photoshop and we're going to have to drag and drop the PNG file with the graphics on to Photoshop. You can also use a Photo P or Photo Peer, which is basically like a free online Photoshop, basically. So as a quick example, I'm just going to change the colors. So I'm going to go to adjustments, replace color. I'm going to change that to a dark blue color. I'm going to adjust the lightness, press OK. And to export this, we go down to exports, quick export as PNG. I'm going to save it in the same folder. I'm just going to rename it blue at the end. So we're going to jump back over to Blender and I'm going to open the file using the folder icon here and just opening the image. So what I'm going to do now is go back to Layout and as you can see it hasn't updated, we have to do one more step. We have to make sure that the tracksuit model is selected, go down to the Materials icon here, make sure the red tracksuit is selected click on this little arrow and then click on this icon here and we'll change it to our updated graphics. So now it's updated we can do some small adjustments so we can play with the roughness, we can make it shiny like a PVC material or bring it back up to be more like a polyester or a cotton material. We can also play with the specular which will give it slightly different depths of colour or, or lightness. I'm going to have it around here. Right now we're in the material uh, preview uh, tab. I'm going to just quickly click on the render tab just to see how it looks. This gives me a better idea of, of how it will look like when it's finally rendered. It's slightly more difficult for the computer to, um, to, to load the materials when it's like this. I'm going to switch it back to material preview. Okay, now I'm going to look into basically rendering the image. So to render the image, you can go up to render Render image. And it'll take a little second to load. But once it's loaded, it will load up an image of the tracksuit with the new updated graphics. So if we want, we can also change the angle here. If we want to change the angle, we can do that. And we just repeat the same process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to out, output settings. I'm going to make sure the file is in a location that I can find easily. So I'm going to put it back in the, the same folder. I'm going to call it render1. Accept. And then I'm also going to change the resolution to be for an Instagram post. So that is 1080 by 1920. Okay. That's looking good. As I can see, the edge here is a little bit off, so I'm just going to move the background by pressing, clicking on it, pressing G, 
and then just pulling it up slightly. Uh, I can also move the camera if I want to, if I go to view, lock camera, and camera to view, and also just move the camera like this. So you click on the little hand icon, and then you can drag it across, and place it where you like. You can also change the background color. Make sure that you click on the background. We go back to materials. We change the base color from white to let's say a blue. And then we need to go down to emission and then drag that from white to black. Now, if I go to the render, you can see there's a shadow here. That's fine. If you don't want the shadow, what we can do is make sure the background selected again. Uh, press G for grab and then press Y and then move the arrows back, move the background back and then to scale it we press S and then drag with our mouse and then it's good. So this is the render preview. What I'm going to do is I'm going to render an animation now. So to render the animation you just simply go into render render animation and then you'll see there's 250 frames here at the bottom on the time the timeline so what it will do is render 250 separate images and then string it up into an animation at the end I'll get back to you in a second once it's finished uh, rendering it'll take a little while to do as it's got to do 250 frames and then we'll show you the result so this is the result for the final render so that should be ready now to put on social media or whatever platform you want to put it on. If you have any questions, then leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Now that's it for now guys. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.